Well, good morning. It's Wednesday, the 3rd of January, 2024, and there's a storm been coming through called he Henk. I don't know who named that. Anyway, it's just named storm. So when you name a storm, it's got to be bad. And this is uh, the flood of the garden. And I've just <laughs> sent the drone up to have a look because I can't see over the other garden, see who else is uh, affected. And uh, it so happens that I'm the only one. I've got no idea why that is, why it's not spread elsewhere. But there you go. Well, hold tight, because up we go. Welcome to the back garden and my water feature. And it looks like I'm the only one with this amount of water in the back garden on the surface. There's a couple of patches there and the bowling green over to the right, I'm virtually free of any standing water. Look, that's from the other direction, just me. Right, next thing to do is to go down to the river and see what's happening down there. Come. And off we go. First thing I've got to say is this, unbelievably, and over here, they usually flood. And it looks, as you can see back there, that they've cleaned the side of the road. I say they, the council. And uh, because all these trees drop all the leaves onto the road, it blocks the drains, and then when it rains, it floods, um, which is what you don't want. And it looks like they've solved that, which is great. Oh well, there's one good thing happening. Yeah, you can clearly see where the um, road cleaner has been along here. Right, just got to set off to sand and fields and see what's happening down there. This is the first stop at Cleaver Gardens and, and to be honest it looks quite picturesque if it wasn't the tragedy that the flats over here, maybe they're not completely flooded yet, I'll need to go around the far side and see what's going on. But uh, yep, the river is completely full and overflowing <laughs> over there to the, um, the rugby fields of the old Edwardians. Uh, rugby club. So let's make our way around, let's get the drone up so what's going on. My goodness. <laughs> well it seems I've caught the weather between the storms because it's going to rain again I think and be very windy, uh, so the forecast says so. Um, but look, it's uh, amazing. Yeah, that is where I filmed about a month ago, and this is uh, considerably more flooded. Right, hold tight, because off we go again and this football pitch isn't going to be used for a little while yet.
And here we are heading off towards Weddington Church, St. James's. And indeed, the floodplain here is doing its job in containing all this water. And swinging round to the left over the old railway line, which is now a footpath, is the extensive flooding on the fields of towards Coldica. Now coming back the way we came, you can see there's a lot of flooding going on here and hopefully, and I do believe the case, whatever flood defences are built into the housing estate seem to have worked. Well, that was pretty successful. Um, I think the next thing to do is to go to another location, and I want to go up where the uh, Nuneaton Rugby Club is, where the um, flood relief system s splits. Um, I've got a feeling that might be quite interesting. I've got a nice view of it all. Well, I've just stopped um, by the chip shop, look and the rugby club, the old Reds that is, on the Weddington Road. Just to have a look at the uh, flood relief system to see how well it's working. And that uh, looks like it's working properly. That's magnificent. All this water is not going through the middle of town, which is excellent. So, uh, right, as I said, I'm going to head off towards the rugby club. The Nuneaton Rugby Club, where the uh, flood relief system starts. Well, I'm arriving at the Rugby Club, which is uh, the entrance is here. It's the plant pool. And with a bit of luck, I can get access to the field and get closer to the uh, start of the flood relief. However, it seems it's locked. We well, it didn't seem, it is locked. I can see it's locked. It's damn great big padlock on a huge chain on it which is fair enough um, that's not going to stop me I can see from here it's quite flooded over there so I'm going to fly the drone from this point and have a look at this uh, field at the back of us where the river anchor splits to the flood relief system and then the river anchor that goes into town this chap arriving at the rugby club is very nice but uh, a lock gate's not going to stop me here we go. The gentleman who just came in told me the water was all over these fields yesterday. And there you can see the flood relief ahead of us and the river coming in from the right hand side and comes down towards the picture at the bottom. Let's dive down to the bridge which goes over the join where the river anchor sweeps around to the right look and the flood relief goes to the left. And there's a lot of water going through that as you can see. I have explained in another video how this flood relief system works. The water is diverted through this channel 
all the way along here and under the railway around the back of Horston Grange estate and on then towards Sandon Fields where it joins the river again later on. This flood relief system was finished in 1976 and before that the middle of Nuneaton used to flood quite regularly as you can see here. So I think it's a very effective piece of civil engineering so well done those who designed and built it. So let's head back to the junction of the flood relief system and the River Anchor and follow the route of the River Anchor off to the right here as it goes towards the centre of Nuneaton. With all this water taken out of the river it is considerably smaller now but it is still enough to uh, cause some concern in the middle of town. It heads off uh, towards Attleborough and this patch of ground in the far distance is quite interesting. The river almost sneakily enters into the centre of Nuneaton with this meandering section between two railway lines, a set of allotments, and then goes underneath the railway and underneath, not far away, the Attleborough Road and then on to Riversley Park. And yes, the railway is very busy. It's the West Coast Main Line. Turning round and heading back to the clubhouse, you can see the fields are really quite waterlogged. And there are a number of pitches here. Hey, wouldn't it be fun to try and fly between the rugby posts? Yeah, go on then. Now let's just head over the Nuneaton Town football pitch uh, next to the river as you can see and here it goes under the Eastborough Way and you can see the river in its full flow as it approaches the town from the west and as you can see there are a lot of wet fields over there I can only presume the farmers can do nothing on this land until it dries out Well that's it everyone, thanks for watching. Um, it looks like the flood relief system here in sunny Nuneaton is doing its job uh, and if anybody has been affected by the floods then I've every sympathy because it's absolutely devastating I know to have that dirty flood water come into your house. Oh it must be awful so um, and it does happen quite a lot and it's happened recently in the last few years. Whether that's to do with climate change or not, not sure, still. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe and hit the like button, as they say. And uh, from uh, Nuneaton Rugby Club. Oh, look, Slimming World. <laughs> see, fortunately, I don't need that. <laughs> You'll see me next time, okay, bye.